Burnley Rocky Allen Jones was born in 1941 in Truro, Nova Scotia. He was a revolutionary activist, lawyer, and community leader. Today, we will tour Halifax through the lens of Rocky Jones and his living legacy. What you see now is the Memorial Park covering a small section of what used to be Africville, a historically black community in Halifax. Africville was a community formed hundreds of years ago that lived on until the late 1960s when the city of Halifax evicted its residents and bulldozed the community to make way for industry. As an advocate for racial justice, Rocky Jones was acutely aware of the harms done to the residents of Africville by the city of Halifax. Rocky was living in Halifax during the eviction and destruction of Africville. Years later, in his role as a lawyer, Rocky would advocate for Africville residents as they fought for recognition and compensation from the Halifax municipal government. Here in Halifax's booming North End neighborhood, there's a hidden history on every block. Right here, we can see the spot where Rocky and his wife created the Quatra House. The Quatra House was a youth retreat organization they founded in the mid-1960s. The space was created to be an interracial club where youth could discuss discrimination and ways to fight it. Halifax's North End has been the site of much community organizing. In 1968, the Halifax North Library on Goddagen Street was the site of the largest black political organization in Canada up to that time. Rocky was instrumental in founding the Black United Front, the BUF, at that meeting. The Black United Front was an organization designed to act as an advocate and resource agency for the Nova Scotia Black community. An immediate result of the Black Panthers coming to Halifax was the creation of this group. The Black United Front's main goals were to obtain economic and political power for Black people, promote Black history and culture, assist in the development of a positive Black self-image, develop leadership and community organization skills, and provide resources through which the Black community could access self-help programs. Throughout its roughly 20-year tenure, the BUF assisted the Black community of Halifax by creating job funding programs, assisting in housing projects, helping secure water access, providing legal aid, and much more. Part of what these black communities struggled with was a forced isolation, both from each other and from the municipality. What the BUF did to counter that was to create several newspapers and newsletters that would circulate in the communities to inform the masses of the progress being fought for and upcoming events and programs. Halifax's North End has been the home of a large black community ever since the destruction of Africville, when many of the displaced were relocated to the North End public housing projects, namely Mulgrave Park and Uniac Square. Gottagen Street has been a part of Black Nova Scotian history, and if you look closely when you walk down the street, you can start to see every layer of that history. Rocky Jones passed away in 2013 at the age of 71. We could not locate his resting place, but we know that his memorial service took place in Truro, where he grew up. While we could not find Rocky's grave, we hope that in burial he receives the recognition he deserved as a foundational Black Nova Scotian activist and lawyer. Here at Camp Hill Cemetery, we see memorialized other prominent black activists of the time, including Viola Desmond, who fought segregation in New Glasgow and beyond, and Rocky's ex-wife Joan, who worked alongside Rocky in the fight for racial justice in Nova Scotia. Rocky Jones's legacy will continue through the programs he implemented here at Dalhousie University to aid the black and indigenous student community. Rocky strived to help others facing similar racial injustices to what he had suffered. He continued his advocacy for equal opportunities for all by implementing the Transition Year program at Dalhousie. The main office can be seen here. This was created to aid those who would otherwise be faced with difficulties to pursue a university education, primarily those who are Black and Indigenous and former youth in care. It provides students with skills to better prepare them for university life and university educational content. Rocky created and planned this initiative while still completing an undergraduate program himself. Over 1,000 students have been helped by this program since its debut in the 1970s. Rocky Jones's portrait hangs in the Weldon Atrium of Dalhousie's Schulich School of Law. This is to honor the contributions he has made to bringing racial representation to the university and to the justice system. In 1989, he created the Indigenous Blacks and Mi'kmaq Initiative. This program is designed to create more racial justice for the community by getting more representation 
from marginalized groups in Nova Scotia. It supplies financial aid to its participants, along with scholarships, and makes an effort to persuade students to pursue law degrees. This has proved to be highly successful and has gained recognition all across the country, earning an Excellence in Equity and Diversity Award from the Canadian Bar Association in January of 2021. 217 students have been helped and have been able to get jobs within the legal system. It will continue to inspire and aid many more students at Dalhousie University. These programs are examples of Rocky Jones' legacy in Halifax and how his activism lives on, even after his death.